Today we are making spicy popcorn chicken. Have you ever had popcorn chicken that wasn't good? No, you haven't. And we're not gonna start today. This recipe is simple, easy, minimal ingredients. It is also low fat, filled with flavor, and something everybody's gonna enjoy. Trust me, I'm a doctor. No, I'm not. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, man, this upload's gonna come out a little later. Saturday night, I got food poisoning. I have been an absolute wreck. I'm actually on a 36 hour fast right now. I haven't eaten in 36 hours, so I'm gonna to break the fast with some popcorn chicken. The ultimate fast breaker. When I was a kid, you know what my favorite food was? KFC's popcorn chicken. And I'm not talking about that new, like out of the bag popcorn chicken. I'm talking about when they used to bread it. You used to get those pieces of popcorn chicken that was like 85% breading, 15% chicken, 100%. Incredible. Get a side of Zinger sauce. Who out there remembers Zinger sauce? I have not been able to find a recipe for that Zinger sauce and I've looked a ton. I feel like we're getting off track. So today we're gonna keep things simple. We're gonna keep them effective. We're gonna keep them tasty, and by God, this may be the cure for a stomach virus. I sure hope so, because I'm miserable. But without further ado, if you guys are ready to get this epic cooking video underway, then as always, I'm here to cook for you. Let's do it! Yeah! That intro fires me up every time. I know some of y'all out there have been sweating my jock, and it's all good, I can't blame you, but if you want your own jock to sweat, starting Black Friday, Final Boss Athletics will finally be launching. So finalbossathletics.com, launching Black Friday. We're gonna have a heck of a deal. You're gonna get some cool shirts with the sleeves hugging. I mean, look at that. Look at that angle. It's exceptional quality. So be on the lookout for that. Anyways, let's get this show on the road. The first things first, we are making popcorn chicken, so we are gonna need some chicken. This ain't impossible chicken or no plant-based chicken. 100% pecking, scratching, feather wearing, talon having chicken. Think you get it. What I have here is a bunch of chicken that I actually pre-already cut up. This is typically how I store it because it's easy for recipes like this or if you're just cooking chicken real quick. And shout out to Butcher Box for sending me the chicken. These are actually their tenderloins. They're zero fat. They trim all that off. So all you gotta do is cut into little pieces and you are good to go. Link in description if you wanna give Butcher Box a try. They have an ultimate steak sampler deal going on. If you sign up, you get like a bunch of free steak. Sounds good to me. More meat, the merrier. So I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out a pound of chicken. And if you look at these pieces here, these are like, at least for me, the perfect bite-sized piece. So that's what you wanna do is get them, you know, it's popcorn chicken. We all in agreement? more meat? Good, I'm glad you're here too. Big old handful. And you don't gotta necessarily weigh your food out. I know I always say this, but I'm goofy with my diets and I really try to follow them closely. And I like to know exactly what I'm putting in my body. All right, almost there. This actually worked out perfect. I seriously did not plan ahead for this. Boom, boom. Oh my gosh, and boom, perfect. It's like it was meant to be. For anybody wondering what a pound of chicken looks like, looks like that. Don't know if that helps, but hey, I hope it does. Now we gotta make a little seasoning blend and we're gonna start with, you probably guessed it, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Boom. One teaspoon of paprika. Boom. Now I know this is a weird one, but hear me out. We're gonna do one teaspoon of ground mustard. Yeah, I know it does exist. It is a real thing. One teaspoon of black pepper. Zing. And then a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Then just go in and give it all a nice little stir. I know that's just seasoning, but that smell is already doing something for me. Something sinister. And boom, that's looking good. Now that the spices are done, we need something to bread these with. They gotta be crispy, they gotta be crunchy. And without getting too exotic, I think I found the perfect way to make these things hit the spot. We're gonna be using cornflakes. And I ain't talking Kellogg's, baby. We're using Great Value Walmart brand because here we like to save money and nine times out of 10, this is it's the same thing. Same thing. You can technically use any corn-based cereal if you want, but the macros on these are actually really good. Way better than the Kellogg's version. I just wouldn't use frosted flakes if I were you. Or those chocolate flakes that are seasonal, which are dang good, by the way. Don't sleep on them. So what you want to do is measure out about two cups or I weighed out 80 grams and I put them in a baggie because what we're gonna do is go in and we're gonna bang a bang a bang deflake them a little bit but we don't want to deflake them too much we don't want to powder we still want some some nice flake action so just hit them with a boom quick little a hey boy it's actually kind of therapeutic is this how a judge feels before he gives a life sentence life 
I feel like I'm giving my dad a back rub. Okay, we got the big pieces all broken up and that is looking about perfect. Now I'm gonna take my bite-sized chicken pieces and transfer them to a large mixing bowl so we can get to breading and combining. A boom and boom. Gosh, these are slimy. Do it a flick of the wrist. Got it. And once it's in the mixing bowl, as a binding agent, we'll be using one tablespoon of honey. I don't care what brand you use, but if it ain't in the shape of a bear, then I ain't messing with you. Measure out our tablespoon here. Heaping tablespoon, baby. Glug, 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 glug. Perfect. Add it in. Look at that honey drip. Get all of you in there. We don't want to waste any of this sweet, sweet nectar. Perfect. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take our spices from earlier and just dump them right in here. And once that's in there, go in by hand and you really want to mix everything up. You want all that honey to hit all the spices. You don't want any piece that's like overly coated versus another piece. You want everything to be nice and thoroughly implemented. I know this chicken's raw and slimy, but it's, this is already smelling like really good. I'm telling you, this is going to be a game changer, guys. Y'all are going to love this. It's a pound of chicken here too, man. That's 100 grams of protein. And that looks perfect to me. Once you got it mixed, go ahead and add in your cornflakes. And then mix these all up as well. Oh boy, oh boy. What are we creating here? This is just gonna be too good. Too good. All right, that looks great. Now when it comes to cooking it, you can air fryer it if you want. Air fryer might yield the best results, but I don't got one right now, I still need to get one. So what we're gonna do is the next best thing. Baking sheet, but you're gonna wanna put one of these little racks on here, that way you don't gotta flip it. It's gonna cook the underside as well, that way not the top's too done and the underside's soggy. You want one of these racks. I'll link one in the description, they're like five bucks. You just sit it right on your tray. Hit it with a little cooking spray. You don't want these sticking. Perfect. Then we're gonna take our chicken pieces and just sit them on our rack. Oh my gosh, look at these. They're not even cooked yet and I'd eat one right now. All right, I wouldn't, but you get what I'm saying. When these do cook though, they're gonna be so crispy and so delectable, it's gonna be insane. Oh man. Comment below how you think this is gonna turn out. If you're rooting against me, shame on you. If you're rooting for me, then this just may be the start of a great friendship. We got this tray packed out. You wanna make sure you have at least a little bit of space between all of them. I did my best here, but this, lady. I mean, this smells so good already and it's not even done. And then once you get all these laid on here, you can take some of your extra breading you didn't use and kind of just put it on top of your pieces to make sure, you know, they're breaded all the way. Now we cook it. Now we throw it in the oven at a 400 degree temperature for about 13 to 15 minutes. The more chicken you have, you might need a little longer. So I normally check on it at 13 and then, you know, adjust as needed. Whoop, put you in there. Top rack, timer, 13. And we're gonna be eating like kings in no time. And while we're waiting on those to cook, I'm gonna make a little secret sauce here. I discovered this the other day, and this is a game changer. Not like that blasphemous documentary on Netflix, but a real game changer supported by facts. First up, sweet and spicy G Hughes. Everything's better when G's on top. Add a nice little layer of that in there, boom. We're gonna do a little bit of sriracha to kick it up a notch, boom. And then the secret ingredient, fat-free, chunky blue cheese dressing. Not too much, just a little bit, and boom. Perfect, gives it that bite. We go through and mix all of these up too. Don't sleep on this guys, I'm telling you. Don't knock it till you tried it. And then once it's all combined, we're gonna pop it in the microwave for about 40 seconds. Heat it as needed until she's piping hot. And they are done. Oh my gosh, get a load of this. Woo. Get a load of these guys. Hold on, let me pick one up. Wow, look at that. That's why this rack is so crucial because it cooks the underside of it. At the same time it cooks the top too. Oh man, guys. I mean, we can sit here and we can keep staring at it or we can eat it and see how she turned out. I vote option two, let's go. All right, tired of waiting, tired of waiting. I have such a good feeling about this, it's not even funny. Secret sauce at the ready, microwave, ready to go. But we're gonna try one like straight up without any sauce on it, see how it is. We'll do like this little tiny piece right here. I love how these like cornflake breading, it just looks so pretty. I mean, if you didn't know any better, you wouldn't think it was cornflakes, but I'm done talking. Spicy popcorn chicken, here we go. Mmm. -hmm. 
<clears throat> wow, so much better than plain chicken breast. Give her one more, just to be, you know, fair. Mm. And that's plain with no sauce, man. Those are incredible. And to be honest, the, the spicy part of it, it's not even really spicy. There's like a tiny little hint of spice, but if you're worried about it being spicy, it's not. So now let's make sure it's cooked all the way through. Probably should've done that first. And white meat all on the inside. Mm. Dang. Now the real winner, we're gonna try our secret sauce out. So this is the fat-free blue cheese, sriracha, and sweet and spicy G Hughes. Nice little bit. See that? And we go. Mm. Wow, wow. The thing is, this recipe is so easy. You could just meal prep this for the entire week. You could do all your chicken in popcorn chicken form if you wanted to. Dang. Woo. Now that stuff's spicy. I mean, they need something to wash it down with. Auto Boss Greens Hybrid to the rescue. Ah, nothing quenches that heat quite like spirulina and wheatgrass. Right, boys? Right, boys? Obviously, you know what my concoction of choice is. One scoop of Final Boss greens and a Gatorade Zero mixed with a scoop of Final Boss aminos. You mix it up, shake it, got yourself a nice little healthy drink. And the people that requested it on FinalBossFormers.com, they actually have it available in a bundle. If the greens bundle gives you everything you need, minus the Gatorade Zero, to do exactly what I do. And you get a discount. Use code RJF10 to save you 10% or available on Amazon.com with free prime shipping. Can't beat it. And you can't beat this. Mmm. I'm so I'm glad I'm breaking my fast with this. Right, we're gonna try a big old piece. Mm, no worries on this either. Cooked all the way through. We solid. Wow. How easy was this one, man? Anybody can do this, man. Minimal ingredients. Getting our protein in. Extremely low fat. There's less than two grams of fat in this entire recipe. Putting a nice twist on these bodybuilding foods here. Mm, dang. A plus, man. For how easy this was. How macro friendly the entire thing is. We're still getting our protein in. And just the overall taste and the crunch. Exceptional, man. Egg exceptional. So I'm gonna finish here, clean up, and I'm gonna go over macros and break this entire thing down. For you. Let's go. One more. Huh. Mm, perfection. No lie. I just ate that entire batch. One pound of popcorn chicken. And it was good, let me tell you. I swear meat tastes better when it's organic, free range. Thanks, Butcher Box. Appreciate you. Don't forget that link in description. If you want organic, free range, healthy meat delivered to your door, you don't gotta go to the store. You always have protein around us, a win-win. In this entire recipe of popcorn chicken, so the entire pound, you ate the whole thing like I just did. 704 calories, only two grams of fat, 69 grams of carbs, and 108 grams of protein. I don't know if anybody's comparing these macros to KFC, Popeye's chicken, but we got them beat. I know that. I know that. So I'll put it to you this way. You could just eat the plain boring chicken or you can bread it, feel like you're eating out at a restaurant and still make gains at the same time. Low carb, healthy, spicy popcorn chicken. Thank me now, thank me later, thank me whenever. I'm here all day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Final Boss Athletics dropping on Black Friday. Be on the lookout for that. And food poisoning or stomach bug, whatever it is I got. You guys know anything that makes this go away a little faster. We're on day three right now, and uh, energy levels are a little low, a little achy. I'm craving sugar like a madman. Things aren't looking good. <laughs> you know anything that'll uh, maybe help me get over this a little quicker? Comment it down below. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you guys at the next video. Peace. I'm out of here.